Hey mommies, daddies, and kids, have you explored the books I recommended you and your preschoolers in the previous episode? I hope you did. Today, I'll be recommending a few more books to you. You are indeed spoiled for choices. Let's get started, shall we? Clifford Makes the Team by Norman Bridwell. So Clifford is a big dog, right? And he wants to join the kids um, to play baseball. So he tried to find a bet that is for his size. You know, he used, I mean, he tried to find a tree, a pole, a pipe, nothing works, nothing. So in the end, um, Clifford was really upset, and but the kids still want him to join the game, and they find a way to actually include Clifford to join in their fun. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. So cute. Okay, and the reviews. So this is a very fun, engaging story for both beginner readers and also even the toddlers can enjoy. Um, it's fun and cute. It's a great book for your, your little ones to read. The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. So one morning, old Mrs. Rabbit told her little ones that they may go into the fields or down the lane, but just do not enter Mr. McGregor's garden. But what does Peter Rabbit do? So this is what it looks like in the book. Cute little pictures, cute illustrations, and the reviews. This is a classic story, which I agree, it's a it's a, it's a classic story indeed. Okay, so it's a wonderful story to read with your little one as well. And um, it's basically a story about how Peter Rabbit is mischievous, up to no good. Mm, and yeah, a lot of children enjoy this book and I hope you will too. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. So this is an all-time classic story. I love this story. I've read this before a million times to my um, students last time. Um, so this story is basically about a caterpillar. He is always hungry, always eating and eating all day. So um, when he was full at last, he made himself a cocoon and turned into a butterfly. So this is what it looks like inside the book. Very unique pictures. It's colorful. It's also interactive. So there, there's a page where um, they were showing the fruits and the fruits have holes in there and if you can make a little caterpillar puppet, you can use it to go through the pages. So, reviews. <clears throat> Simple wordings, colorful pages, it's a classic tale, it teaches children how to count. I mean, it also teaches the children the life cycle of a butterfly. Um, not only that, it also... Um, you can also introduce there are days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to your young ones. And you can use this book for sequencing as well. Yes! The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. No, we've all probably heard about this story before. It's a classic. Um, it's about Sally and her brother who is stuck at home. They have nothing to do. They're bored. Um, because it's raining outside, and then suddenly a giant cat in a hat shows up and transforms the day into a crazy adventure, wrecking the place everywhere. So, this is what it looks like in the book. And yes, this is the reviews. So, this book is a classic, a lot of children will actually read over and over again. Um, it has rhyming, it's also whimsical, um, it's easy enough to read for your little ones, um, and they're silly, which a lot of um, you know, children would probably enjoy silly stories. So yes, it's a lot of fun to read. Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. So this story is a classic. It's about Madeline, who is only 7 years old. She's attending a boarding school in Paris together with 11 other girls and her teacher, uh, Miss Clevel. And Madeline is the smallest one of all. Um, and she's fearless, so she's not afraid of anything. Um, this book is basically about her daily adventures and this is 
what it looks like inside the book. So they only use yellow, black, yellow and black color. And yes, and the reviews. So yes, as I've mentioned earlier on, it's a classic. It has wonderful illustrations. It has rhyming verses. Um, it's a story about friendship in the boarding school. And one of them mentioned that the rhymes are even funny. Um, and yes, I think you will enjoy this series with your little ones. The Goose Egg by Lise Wong. This book is about Henrietta. She is an elephant. She likes her quiet life. She loves the morning swim, her cup of tea. And then one day, everything changes when she bumps her head and, came acro- and comes across a goose egg. A real goose egg. So Henrietta tries to return the baby goose to the nest, but she realizes that her flock has flown. And so now it's up to Henrietta to raise her. Um, and um, But the goose is nothing like Henrietta. She's flappy, she's noisy, she's exhausting. But Henrietta raises that goose right. She teaches her how to swim, teaches her how to hong, and even how to fly. And then one day, goose, the goose flies off with the other keys. And Henrietta is so proud of her. But then she realizes how lonely and her and quiet her life has become now. So this is what it looks like inside the book. Cute illustrations. And the reviews. So this story um, is about mindfulness, about parenting, families. It's a sweet book to read. It's not only fun, not only engaging, but it's also talking about perseverance, how Henrietta didn't give up on the goose. Um, continue to raise her up. Um, I think everyone will enjoy reading this book. The Brilliant Oil Lamp by Kwek Hong Shin. So this is written by a local author. Um, it's about Asha, how she moves from her cozy shop house to a housing estate in Topayo. Um, it's very different for her because the buildings are tall and the apartments are new. Asha's home even has electric lights. So her family begins the rites of blessing for their new home using a beautiful oil lamp. But suddenly, the power is cut and everything goes dark. So Asha has an idea. Why not let share the lamp's light with, you know, their new neighbors? So the children also have fun with the shadow play and even light sparklers with a lamp. So this is how it looks like inside the book. 